Hello and welcome to the channel again. In this video, we will review a pen with a very interesting story behind it. The Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore Limited Edition Blue Abyss. I've personally set up a standard regarding Leonardo and I expect only great things from them. But this time, I took the initiative and I will let you judge what is the result of my initiative. The story of this pen started a few months ago when one day I was at the office talking with Salvadore, the CEO of Leonardo, bouncing ideas for new pens. And the main subject of our conversation was the fact that the two successful limited edition Momento Zero collections, the Mediterranean Blue Celluloid version and the Blue Abyss Celluloid version were sold out. So what do we produce next? And figuring out that dilemma, took less than I expected. I suggested to Salvadori to make a limited edition Blue Abyss pen based on the Ferrari model, equipped with a gold nib, ebonite feet, and this time, for the first time on the Ferrari model, a vintage piston filling mechanism. He instantly liked the idea, went with my suggestions, and the rest is history. I think it's enough facts, let's unbox this pen. Here we have the box of the pen, and this is a clamshell box. Leonardo is presenting all of their limited edition pens in boxes like this. Inside we find one Leonardo ink barrel, and the color of this ink is always random. And this is a booklet containing information regarding the Ferrari collection and other Leonardo collections. And this is the certificate of authenticity and this proves that the pen is made in Italy and the gold alloy of the nib is 14 karat. On the back you will find actual shavings of celluloid that are discarded from the turning process of this pen using a lathe. Now let's take the pen out for a closer look. This is the Ferrore Blue Abyss Celluloid Fountain Pen. Made from a stunning celluloid, which for those who don't know, is the same celluloid as the butterfly celluloid from Monte Grappa. It is composed of complementing colors, dark blue and light blue, and also a hint of a grayish blue. These colors are stacked, giving the effect of layers upon layers, offering depth to this material. And also this celluloid will always have two sides. A much darker one, a very dark blue, almost black, and a lighter side right here. And this features all of the colors previously mentioned. I think it's time to take the camera closer and analyze the details of this pen. What we have here is the definition of a cigar shaped pen. We have soft ends, smooth transitions and a overall decrease in girth towards both ends. The cap features the all known Leonardo clip, gold plated like all of the trims on this pen. This is vintage in styling and very functional. Moving forward, we have instead of a cap band, two separate rings. Then using one and a quarter turns, we uncap the pen. And if you want to know how does true Italian celluloid smells like, you can smell the inside of this cap. For me, it's something like a ritual that I do every time I use celluloid pens. Now let's get back to the 14 karat gold nib. This is available in the following sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad and a sub. This is made by Bach for Leonardo and it's engraved with a more elaborate design specific to the Ferrari collection. Under this nib you can find the Leonardo Ebonite feed which is low profile and makes this broad nib very juicy and wet furthermore making the writing experience feel a lot more smoother due to the rich ink flow. Section of this pen has a bell-like shape, starts thinner near the nib and gradually increases in size towards 
the threads of the cap. Now talking about threads, these threads are polished very very well and this makes them feel very smooth so you can totally grip this pen by those threads without feeling any discomfort. Then we have a step up right here and this is where the section is ending and this is marked by this gold plated ring. Now the barrel of the pen starts to be very girthy right here then it gradually tapers towards the piston knob. On the barrel you will find the following engraved Leonardo Officina Italiana and the serial number of this pen. In this case we have 007 of 100 and this is a limited edition of 100 pieces. Then we have another gold plated ring that marks visually at least where the barrel is ending and we have the filling mechanism, the piston knob and this is designed by Salvadore and it's called a vintage piston filling mechanism. It is made to be operated very precisely offering a decent ink volume each fill. So using this pen with a broad nib I've finished the complete fill after writing 15 pages. Now the overall measurements of the pen we have closed like this 147 millimeters. If we open the pen like this we have 132 millimeters and the overall weight of the pen is 26.7 grams. Now speaking about writing, let's see how this pen is behaving on paper. Pen Leonardo Furore Blue Abyss. We have the nib 14 karat gold broad. Then we have the ink Aurora blue black. I think it goes well with the overall colors of this pen. Paper Tomoy River 68 GSM. Now let's try a wetness test. I can already tell that this is a very a very nice and juicy and wet nib. Now let's try something like a flex test. Although I don't advise you to flex a Leonardo nib because they do come with a certain rigidity does offer a bit of line variation if you want to have some character to your handwriting. Now let's try something like a pattern of lines horizontal and vertical and you can easily spot that this broad nib will offer a stub like grind. The horizontal lines are a bit thinner than the vertical ones. Now let's try a reverse and reverse. Wow it's quite smooth for a reverse writer and it will take the nib from a broad down to a medium. Now let's try something like fast writing. The nib is performing very well, it's smooth, it's gentle to the touch, it's very wet and it's a pleasure to use it. This is a truly special pen. Not because I was involved in creating it, but because for me and probably for you, it sums up everything that you are looking for when owning a luxury writing instrument. It is a limited edition, it uses a very special material, celluloid, it has a gold nib, ebonite feet, 
intricate filling system, in this case a vintage piston filling mechanism, and also the pen offers a great riding experience. When you compare this pen to other pens that offer the same features, or at least some of them, you will find out that the limited edition Furore Blue Abyss is also fairly priced. Thank you for spending this time with me reviewing the Furore Blue Abyss. If you're looking for a pen like this, if you want to add it to your collection, you can find it available on our website. I will leave you a link for it down below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to find out more about PenVenture and our stock, visit the website, follow the Instagram account, and like the Facebook page. Links for all of them you will find down below. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video.